Hello everyone, I'm Juggerite, and welcome to my stream for my Minecraft Bedrock Survival Let's Play series. Today we are after some uh, ancient debris. We'll be going to the nether and seeing how much uh, we can, uh, can come back with. So... I've got a couple shulker boxes full of beds that we are going to take with us. We are just going to continue our way through. I added to the tunnel. I'm not sure if I dug far enough or not, but I did dig out um, quite a ways. See one piece right there right off the get-go looks relatively safe I don't see any lava So the best way to get these fires would just be to, the ones you can't reach, you can just kind of break the nether rack and uh, it's a surefire way to kill the fire. Um, so I don't see any gravel or ores, so we're going to go ahead and take this piece. Oh, we got some XP from some moors. There's some lava. I've gotten very lucky um, down through here and I've really not run into any massive lava walls or anything which you know is always um, a possibility when you're using this method with the beds or TNT or whatever and I did have some TNT that I was going to use but I thought you know we made the wool farm I had a bunch of a ton of uh, white wool just kind of laying around the base um, so. okay so the reasoning uh, behind me worrying about the ores right now is just because a lot of times, you know, I dig out the ores and the gravel and I end up finding um, ancient debris because of it. Uh. Okay, so this room actually opened up quite a bit deeper because of the uh, gravel still no lava and the main reason I put out the fires even though they do help provide you know a sufficient amount of light is because there's a lot of times where you know that fire is just hiding a piece of ancient debris and you know you find one piece and you dig around it and you know a lot of times you find more you know one or two more so um, if you're wondering why um, 
I worry about that, then, uh, now you know. See, sometimes it'll let you crouch and hit that bed, and sometimes it won't. I don't know if that's a bug or what the deal is exactly, but, uh, sometimes you just have to try and get your shield up quick enough if it won't let you do it while you're crouched so uh which last time i did this that's exactly how it was it uh and i didn't do a very good job of getting my shield up uh very fast So we are getting a bit more lava than I had in previous spots here, but, uh, you know, nothing, uh, too bad still. Like, that's, I, I've, I've seen way worse. There's something very satisfying about the, uh, exploding of beds. I kind of expect this one to be a big one because of all that gravel. Whoa. Alright, no lava. Whoa. Thought I got myself a little bit of a security blanket there, and I did not. I failed miserably with that. I do see some ancient debris, though. I did not I did not mean to fall <laughs> I know it looked like I jumped down but I did not <laughs> that was just uh, my uh, that's my weak minecraft weakness is falling off of things that I shouldn't be falling off of <laughs> And that's why I put it back in my inventory. There's some lava. Not seeing any ancient debris. And uh... So that's kind of how I discovered it was on accident, really. I mean, you're in the range, so every piece of every block moved is a chance for discovery, right? Because we're at that level. So I mean, whoa, that room really opened up. Um. While I was digging this out. Oh, we got a wall of lava right here.
Oh, maybe that's the trick. Maybe you can't, maybe you have to have, uh, in order to crouch while you hit the bed, you can't have anything in your hand. Like, it has to be an open hand deal. Like, I thought maybe that's what went on a minute ago. And... I decided to test the theory and there it went. Whoa. Not sure how that one didn't light me up. It, it'll definitely be done next time we go there. Uh, that's how close I am. But, uh, you know, you... You melt down the nether rack to get the nether brick block or the nether brick and then and then it takes four of those to make a nether brick block so that's four stacks of nether rack smelted down in order to get one stack of the nether brick block. And we are on fire. We got some ancient debris right here in front of us. And quite a bit of lava. I don't want to get too close to that lava while I'm on fire and can't judge what's going on. So we know we got one piece of ancient debris right there. Oh. Okay, just just making sure. Fires. <laughs> and you really want to back up all them extra blocks you can just because of the fact that, uh, I mean. If you're not far enough back when it explodes, I mean, the lava that like you run across like we have so far already, um, I mean, it could come right down on you. There's another piece. So, I mean, we may get through both shulker boxes. Maybe not going back and digging up the gravel and the blackstone, but, uh... We just have to kind of see how this goes, I guess. really use my shield a lot though even when I have it on me like I am horrible about actually using it as much as I should well we got another piece right there two pieces I thought I'd seen that second piece, but I wasn't sure because of the, fl you know, the flames in my face. But uh, 
Yeah, we definitely got two more pieces. Whoa. Math and... Whoa, I got lag, so I put my... I thought it didn't... <laughs> and sometimes you get rooms like that that you just yeah you know, everything is pretty much exposed and you know you just didn't have any luck empty our pockets yeah we're up to eight ancient debris um, so let's swap these two around. Whoa. Now, depending on the luck you have, I mean, I have done this and had like a wall of lava right in my face so um, when you got the flames on you uh, try to be careful not to step into anything you don't want to that's uh, it's about the best advice I can give with that well yeah um, that was an explosion there a lot of gravel That was a pretty decent explosion right there. There we go. It makes it so much easier when there's no lava to deal with. The ancient debris is like the last step. You want to get, uh, you want to get everything geared up enchanted how you want it and then to polish the set off that's when you hit it with the ancient debris like when there's nothing left to be done to the armor or the tool that's when you uh that's when you get the ancient debris on it And I'm not seeing any in this room either. And it looks like my tunnel might be long enough. We'll see. I mean, as we push forward here. It doesn't really look that dug out for ancient debris. So it's probably just where I found some ores. Because I did collect the uh, ores also. Um. While I was digging out the tunnel. Starting to use up the last of our white beds. So we'll be on to the other 15 colors here soon. And there we go. A lot of gravel. No lava though. Uh, which is good. Ooh. And the flames got me again. Oh, 
there we go. We got a couple pieces right down here. Uh, we found a piece while digging this out. I mean, I would say... I would say things are starting to look a little more average, you know? Not necessarily good luck, not necessarily bad luck. And here we go with our green bed. Oh, we got lava this time. Oh, and I've fallen. Not into the lava, but I fell. <laughs> uh, let's uh, get up here. I should put that. I should take care of that lava. Now that was uh that was an explosion. <laughs> I'll I'll set up like a massive area and where I can farm a bunch of them at one time kind of deal, you know? And uh I mean, we got a piece of ancient debris right in our face <laughs> that time. Whoa. I did not expect that gravel. I should have. I should have. Look at that. We got two more pieces right up there. Can't always find them all, you know. Wild Blackstone here really can find that blast. And we opened up. We're in a warped forest biome, look like. Now that's a hole. And there we go, one more. Alright, let's see, what do we have here? Uh, it's a pretty big, pretty big hole. Um, I'm not seeing any ancient debris, though. I mean, you would hate to know that you was like one... You know, one day find out you were like one block away from finding something, right? Look at that. One, two, three, four pieces that we can see right here. Like this is, this is the room. This is the room that uh, has been hiding from us all day. Look at that. That's, that's amazing. I don't think I've ever found uh, four pieces together before. I mean, it's normally, you know, one or two. Um, if you happen to find that third one, you know, you consider yourself lucky, but a fourth one, like we must be like right on the edge of a chunk border right here or something, you know? Okay, here, here we go. <laughs> oh, mistakes have been made. Um... Oh, there was an explosion. Oh, and I fell. And I got on fire. Hopefully this right here will be a great grand finale. Well, that was a pretty good explosion. I see an ancient debris over there. I mean, I, the room with the four is going to be hard to top, right? But um, just 
being able to find one more at the end here of our hunt is nice. It could have been nothing, you know. So digging out the tunnel in preparation for today's stream, um, I had found eight. Yeah, so that's enough for two um, ingots right there. And here's the ender chest from today. Actually, I think one of these ones in my inventory is empty since, uh, or I'm sorry, these are the shulker boxes from today. So we can see what we got. Um, we got 11 ancient debris there. So that brings us up to 14. Um, and nine there. That's uh, 23 ancient debris. That's uh, almost uh, enough for six. I, like I said, I'm pretty sure I have three scraps up there already melted too. So, yeah, I would be confident in saying that uh, all, most of our tools will be um, netherite come uh, Tuesday's episode um, I hope you enjoyed today's stream if you aren't already please uh, follow the channel and I stream every Sunday at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time if you haven't already checked out check me out on YouTube uh, the Let's Play series there is the um, where all this stuff takes place. And we gather these cool things and do a lot of fun stuff. Our last episode, we did an automatic wool farm, a very easy to set up automatic wool farm, uh, where I showed you how to get your sheep into the wool farm without all the hassle that you're used to having to have um, by following all these tutorials out there. Uh, I showed you how to do it super simple and um, again our next episode we'll definitely be upgrading our gear to netherite and uh, you'll just have to tune in to see uh, the rest so if you haven't already go ahead and f uh, find me on YouTube like the video subscribe to the channel ring the bell so you don't miss out on the future episodes and I'll see you in the next video